Hello viewers, welcome again to our 9th and 9th session, CRE Form 4, and we are looking at uh, irresponsible sexual behaviors. In responsible sexual behaviors, we are getting to look at uh, rape and adultery. That is for today's class, rape and adultery. However, as always, let me take you back what we have, we have looked at. We have looked at um, fornication, and we say this is sexual relationships between unmarried people. Then we did look at incest also, those that are family related by blood. Now today we get to look at rape and adultery. So what do we expect? We get to study the effects of rape and also the effects of adultery. Without wasting much time, can you get to look at rape? What is rape? And a number of us have been a victim of a victims of rape, right? What causes rape? Now, this, what is rape first? This is forcing another person to have sexual intercourse without his or her consent. Right? The issue of having sexual intercourse without the person having uh, the consent. And, uh, and, and mostly, we always, we, we always see women claiming that uh, of uh, women being victims of rape. It's because they speak out. Right? They get to speak out and they get to address. But also, men are also raped. Yes? Very many of them. It's just that they get to, they don't get to address, they don't get, they come publicly and get to address that. Now, this is sexual violence and it is against humanity. Now, remember, it is a denial, it is a denial and violation of human rights of the victims who are sexually assaulted. So it's a denial. You get to so you get denial of, of, be, of being violated. Now, rape is expression of hatred towards the opposite sex. And that is why most of those who have, uh, who, who have been raped, they don't mostly, again, have good relationships with the opposite sex. In traditional African society, it was highly punched. Right? Same as that in, in, in today's Christian view, or in, in today's society, today, it is punished by the court, right? Maybe death sentence, right? Or given not less than 25 years in jail or both. Let us get a look at effects of rape. What does it cause? Right? It can result to pregnancy. Good. Physical injuries. Remember, you, you are forcing someone, you are tussling with someone to, 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 to have sexual intercourse. So that, 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 that struggle, that tussle, so it can cause physical injuries, and also it causes it can cause physical injuries to the private parts of the of of the, of, of the involved. Good, it can cause physical injuries to the private parts of those involved. You cannot mention rape without mentioning uh, issue of STIs and also HIV and AIDS. Most of the victims who are HIV positive, they always allude that to rape, and also the victim is traumatized. And ashamed of themselves. Good. The victim always feels trauma. That's why it is advised that if you see a victim of rape, always take that person to a counselor, right? And into in, into a rape rescue center. Now the victim suffers from guilt, loneliness, humiliation, stress, disorders, and also depression. And finally, suicide or death. Let's get to adultery. What is adultery? This is committing of, uh, of, of, of sex outside marriage, right? People are married, but still they can get to commit uh, uh, sex, they, they can get to have sex uh, outside their marriage partners, right? Now, adultery is caused by lack of self-control. And self-control, I said, it goes hand in hand with self-discipline. And also, there is the issue of sex, uh, sexual dissatisfaction, whereby in, in marriage, maybe the man is not satisfied enough, he goes out, or the woman is not satisfied, uh, sexually satisfied by the man because of some, uh, some illness, talk of uh, uh, pressure, blood sugar, uh, erectile dysfunction, good, all those, right? So the, 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 the woman gets out of, out of marriage, that is what you call adultery, and also long periods of wife and husband separation. For example, the husband is working in Uganda and, and, the, and the wife is working in South Africa. So remember that they can take a whole, a whole, a whole year without getting to, to see each other, right? And we have got sexual pleasures, right? So you get to commit adultery. What are some of the effects of adultery? I will just uh, state very fast. 
it can lead to divorce and you well know that if a man finds a woman has gone out of the the, 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 the marriage causes divorce same to same to wife talk of abortion remember you you, you, you got you got pregnant maybe you were out there you got pregnant you can't come come home with the pregnancy right so the alternative is getting to getting to abort there's the issue of uh, STIs and also HIV AIDS and recently when we were celebrating the when we when we are the the the, the world's AIDS day right on 1st December right 2nd December rather there was this study that uh, HIV AIDS is much common is 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 common in in those married couples right so there is the issue of HIV and AIDS it is it is high in those married couples there is the issue of domestic violence murder which can also lead to death also face physiological problems that's all for today and for reference get look at KLB third edition secondary Christian religious education students book four and for more lessons get to contact us on get to reach us via our, our, our youtube youtube channel that's lmu tv facebook facebook page lmu tv and get your feedback you can send us your feedback via contact address that is sms line on your screen Thank you so much for your participation and stay tuned for our 10th session.